Hey there guys, what's going on here? It is John from JTB Metal 123 here and today we are going to be talking about a new DGD record. It literally just came out um, here at midnight. I've kind of stayed up all night just to hear it and uh, yeah, let, let's let's talk about this. So we have the DGD album called Afterburner and uh, you know, overall, let's talk about this. So album R cover, this is the same same guy who's done it um since downtown battle mountain one you know same same artist and uh it's very colorful very cartoony and very creative um this album has a lot of different mixtures in it you know you got a little bit of, of everything you got funk you got latin we're gonna talk about that we have latin we have rap we have metalcore post hardcore experimental we have a little bit we have just everything going on in this record with DGD. If you know who Dance Gavin Dance is, they're known for this. They, they're kind of just all over the place. You know, they kind of just, <laughs> you know, they they throw all these instruments together and you think it wouldn't really, um, you know, come together as one. You don't really think the songs are going to be like, wow, this is going to make total sense. And actually it does, <laughs> you know, for some reason the songs come together really well. Um, DGD has also been known to have amazing vocalists, um, you know, anything from John Mess, Dottilian, um, not so much John Mess, but, uh, Tillian, Johnny Craig, those guys have been known to have some of the most impressive vocals I, I think I've ever heard in my life. They're just so, so well, um, you know, just so well sung. They, they really are, um. But they, they filmed this over in Portland, Oregon with Will Swan and um, Matt Mingus on drums. You know, just, they're just awesome, honestly. And, um, but yeah, speaking of Matt Mingus, man, he's such a great drummer. He really is. He's been there for a while now. And, uh, you know, Will Swan has been there since the beginning. And, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and talk about this. But, um, if I'm not mistaken, I believe... We have a song here that's sung in Spanish, and I believe this the, the song is called the Clentino Miento Global. I don't know how to pronounce, pronounce that. Sorry if I murdered it, but uh, I tried. But it's in Spanish, and it is different. It is definitely different from any DGD song that we've ever had before. Um, they've never done a Spanish song fully like that, but uh, it's different. It's honestly really, really different. I I definitely dig it. Um, Born to Fail is actually really, really good. It's it's different than than you know the rest of the album. It has just a different, um, just a different vibe to it than the rest of the album. But for the most part, though, it it really does get uh, you know, it just gets repetitive. Um, you know, unfortunately, it does. But that's not to say that this band is super talented because they are. I'm just saying the songs just kind of get, you know, repetitive somewhat. Like, you go from Prisoner, which is like a straight banger, and then Lyrics Lie, you're like, okay, yeah, these are singles for sure. And then you go straight up into, like, a Spanish song, and you're just, like, thrown everywhere. You're like, oh my gosh, like, what is going on? What kind of DGD record is this? And then, you know, you get Three Wishes, which is another single, and you're like, all right, cool. One in a Million. And then after One in a Million is kind of where it starts getting repetitive all the way until you get to track number 12 called Nothing Shameful. And then you get a feature which changes up the vocals a little bit. And um, it's got Andrew Wells and then the last song, Into the Sunset, featuring um, Bill Murray. Uh, I, don't, I don't know who he is, but uh, it's, it's nice to have some change there. You know, have some features. I really dig it. Um, for the most part, though... I think the first half of the album is a lot better than the second half. Um, I believe it does get a little bit repetitive, pretty much from track 6 to 11. And then after that, 12 and 13 kind of mix it up a little bit. But for the most part, though, um, this album is, is definitely decent. It's, it's going to get like an 8 out of 10 for me. Um, it's a great record. Very well produced. Um, very well put together. And it's one of DGD's, you know, great strong albums. It's, it's not very bad. And... I'm excited to see what DGD does with it, um, continuing forward, because you know this band has a lot to go, you know, they have many years left, Will Swan's not stopping anytime, Tillian's not stopping, the band's just a really great band, 
I've met the band. They're awesome. And um, honestly, I, I can say I've seen them live three times. And uh, they're just awesome. They they seriously are, and this album is it's not like a step in a in the right direction. You know, it's not stepping like a another direction. It's perfect. It's where this band needs to be. I'm glad Tillian's there. I'm glad they didn't give up when Johnny left. This is just the best. It's the best they're gonna do. Best they're gonna be. And I'm excited to see what they're gonna put out because they're just putting out bangers left and right here. And uh, their music videos are funny. And overall. This band's just, they're just hilarious, you know, they're just funny, but they're very talented at the same time, so, but, um, I know you DGD fans are pretty funny yourselves, you know, you guys just crack jokes left and right, and, uh, you know, I really appreciate it, but if you like my review, um, let me know what you guys think about the record, did you like it, did you not like it, did you think it got repetitive, did you think it didn't, what do you think about it, so, those are my notes. It's what I got on my iPad. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys later. Have a good one.